Mystical, the rapper, is apparently back at it again. And people think it's funny. Okay, guys, so I pulled up this article. It is literally all over social media. People are trolling. People are people are laughing about it. People are trolling. Let's read the article and then we'll pull up the shade room or something so I can show you these ignorant niggas and why women just aren't safe. Black women don't feel safe. Listen, if you're giggling in the comments, you're the reason, you're one of the reasons black women don't feel safe. Whether your girlfriend told you that, your mother, your sister, whoever, it's you. Anywho. So, listen, this is not the first time. This is like the fourth or fifth. This is like the third or fourth, maybe fifth time he has been arrested for taking it from a woman. Okay, I remember back in the day when he first came out, danger, it was like 99 or some shit. I don't know, I was a young child. We didn't know he was the danger. He walked up in with his dick in his hands. Be cool. Everything in his lyrics told you who he was. Told all of us. Let's read this article. Y'all don't need to see the article, honestly. I get tired of you. I get tired of pulling it up. Okay. New Orleans rapper Mystical allegedly aired a woman at his prior real home. He's locked without bond. Priorville. Mystical, a rapper from New Orleans who has been accused of sex of S assault twice in the past two decades. Okay, fine, it's twice. This is three. Come on now. In the past two decades, was booked on new charges after a woman reported being R at his capital area home over the weekend. Arrest record says Michael Taylor, which is his name, 52. He's 52. Better known as his stage name, Mystical, was arrested Sunday and booked on several charges, including first degree R, false imprisonment. He's being held in jail without a bond for now. A bond hearing is scheduled for Tuesday afternoon. An arrest, an arrest warrant detailed the violent um, assault, which happened Saturday and, it was, and involved an acquaintance who was visiting Taylor's home in Priorville. Documents say Taylor accused a woman of stealing $100 cash from him before punching her, choking her, pulling out of her hair and taking her keys and phone, preventing her from leaving. This is Mystical's house where the victim and law enforcement alleged the R occurred in a Priorville, a quiet suburb about 20 miles outside of Baton Rouge. Okay, the victim said she began to look all over Taylor's home for the missing money, hoping it would calm him down. During a search, she told dep deputies she stumbled upon a crystallized substance in a drawer which investigators believe may have been meth. Jesus Christ. Okay. We're not done. The woman also described Taylor as going through bizarre mood swings. What mo one moment berating her over the missing money, the next but becoming very apologetic and asking her to pray with him. It's at that point, Taylor reportedly asked the woman if he could feel her. When she refused, the victim was pushed onto the bed and forcibly it was taken. After the assault, the report, uh, the report, said Taylor again demanded the victim return the missing hundred dollars through cash app and gave the woman her phone so she could pay him while she was setting up the payment she uh she allegedly took the phone back entering the amount of 150 and sent the payment to himself okay so he's okay after he earned her he took her phone 150 and sent it to himself something wrong 
As the victim drove away, she phoned a friend to who agreed to meet her at Baton Rouge Hospital. Their sexual assault kit was performed on the victim, and deputies found injuries consistent with her description of the attack. Taylor previously faced similar allegation in 2004 when sexual uh, after assaulting his hairstylist. News outlets reported he spent six years uh uh-uh, uh following the arrest and registered as an offender. He was arrested again in 2017, surrendered himself to the police after learning there was a warrant out for his arrest related to an assault uh, that allegedly happened at a casino in New Orleans. Um, The charges from 2017 were eventually dropped and Taylor was released from jail on a $3 million bond. His full list of charges included first degree R, false imprisonment, um, domestic abuse, battery, strangulation, simple robbery, and criminal, and simple criminal damage of property. That was a long read. Listen, can I just be honest? I am scared to death of any man who is like, char- like you have no self-control. He has already been charged twice previously. Um, he probably, they probably paid the lady off that was, you know, in the casino. In my opinion, people are going to probably say, oh, she's lying. I don't see why she would lie. He don't really have anything. Honestly, if you really think about it, he's arguing and trying to fight her for a hundred dollars. He sound like he's going through shit, but that ain't got nothing to do with the price of tea in China. It ain't, it ain't her job to fix you. It ain't our job to fucking heal you with our ponies, our emotions, our what, nothing, nothing. Okay. Like a man who thinks he can just take what the fuck he won't. It's a man who deserves to be under the jail. And I am done. As always, I hope you live your life like it's golden. There's no other way to live it.